this is a docker and some pizzerias use it some don't i'm going to tell you what this is and if you happen to find big bubbles in your dough when you are baking your pizza the reason is because you have gluten that dough has not been risen properly yet so if we were to for example make dough today and i go first off try to stretch it it's really hard to stretch not only that it'll do a giant bubble giant bubbles and we rarely do that but sometimes on a friday we run out of dough after eight batches of dough we make the dough and if we have to stretch it immediately we use a docker it'll make sure the extra bubbles they get popped so let me show you how it works so this is my dough as we stretch it and i wanted to tell you if you do not have a docker what you have is fingers this motion when we go stretch dough actually does that now we're not killing all the bubbles with using our hands but it's ultimately is this so there is multiple methods and and uh, political discussions among our team when do we dock this dough is it at this phase is it we put it here and dock it or or when so here's what's going on the, we're going to go back to the purpose of why we're doing what we're doing is to get some of the bubble air bubbles out it's help it pop out so when i uh stretch this dough if I dock it, let's do this. If I dock it before I stretch it, and if you dock it very bad in their holes, when I stretch it, I am stretching the holes. You see that? I'm stretching the holes ultimately when I stretch it. So usually what we want to do, I want to stretch it, then I want to dock it, then I want to lay it. Because as I was trying to demonstrate, you see these holes I've stretched when I was trying to demonstrate it to you. When I sauce this, the sauce can go in there and obviously get stuck or whatever when, when your pizza's stretching. So how we use a docker is we're going to stretch the dough, we're going to dock it, then we're going to lay it on our screen.